Hey guys, ServiceNow came out with Rome last week and I've got 10 new features that are going to absolutely make you look like the life of the party at your next meeting. The first new feature is a sys property which allows us to disable platform home pages by setting the value to true. Next, let's take a look at Flow Designer. You'll notice here that we have two new features. One is an error handler toggle switch, which allows us to create actions after an error is encountered within a flow. Here I've added two actions. One is to send a notification. Another one is to create a log. The next new feature within Flow Designer is the ability to evaluate an error by creating an error condition within the action. Next item we're going to look at is a little button called Request Access that you're going to see within Reports on Dashboards. It allows the user to click on it if they're blocked via an ACL and it'll read request submitted if the instance is properly configured and you'll see here in just a second that if you click on it and the instance is not properly configured then you're going to get a message like this saying please contact your administrator so just make sure that you look at the ServiceNow documentation on how to set this up at this point the request will be submitted again if the instance is properly configured and then the administrator or whoever you designate will go out to sys underscore report underscore access underscore request dot list and take a look at the record that's been created and they'll be able to adjudicate a decision on whether that user should be allowed to have access to those reports and now we can take a look inside the record itself We'll see here the approval status is still requested. And again, this is just a sample. And then we can take a look at the out of the box group created uh, by ServiceNow to facilitate these actions. Within HR, we now have the ability to create interview question templates as part of a new feature called interview management. You're going to want to go out to the ServiceNow documentation to look at how to set it up. But this gives you a picture of the interview question template, a new record, and then also one that I had created. You also have the ability to create template tags, as you can see there in the related list. Are you not entertained? Just making sure that you're still paying attention and are entertained. Ever wish that you could schedule the installation of a plugin? Well, now you can. What we see here is a little calendar icon button next to the install button within each plugin. When you click on it, it'll bring up a scheduled date, and then you can click the next button. It'll bring you into this screen here for schedule activation and give you two options to reschedule or do not reschedule. And then when you navigate back, a business will run and give you that blue text within the banner saying it's scheduled for installation. Another neat new feature is this icon in the upper right hand corner next to the find and store button which when we click on it it will bring us into a calendar which displays all the plugins that are scheduled to be installed. Within CMDB we have a new related list called Teams which allows you to extend and track the different types of groups assigned to a CI going to go through the steps of configuring the related list. This creates a one-to-many relationship between the CI and the teams which are related to that CI. So for example, when an incident is created involving that CI, the incident is assigned to the primary group that's selected. So as we see here, I'm setting up the teams list and adding a couple of teams, one of which is the primary and that is the one that Instant will be assigned to and that CI is selected. This list also has additional functionality which you can check out on the ServiceNow doc site. Okay. 
moving right along, if you have delegated developers working in scoped applications, you'll be able to navigate to My Company Applications, double click on the application. When you scroll down to the related links, you can select Manage Developers. At this point, you'll bring up your developer and you'll notice two additional functions there, or toggle switches. One's Delete Application, the other one's Source Control. And depending on either of those that you select, you'll be able to give your delegate developer access to those two functions. For all you reporting gurus out there, you'll notice under aggregation, we now have the option to report on standard deviation. And we'll take a look at an out of the box report here where the aggregation is sum. And now we'll change it to standard deviation and just watch how the axis changes when we do that. So for all of you who are dying to do standard deviation, your prayers have been answered. Agent Workspace now has a sys property that will allow you to edit several cells within the list view. So the behavior of the back end is now coming to Agent Workspace via sys property. You have to change it to true. I'm going to navigate here to Agent Workspace and find a list that has some out of the box examples. Uh, we'll use knowledge. I'm going to click on short description and I'm going to navigate up by tapping the up arrow six times. We'll type in JM and then it'll change the short description for all six of those records. One thing I noticed was that in another list I was getting an error, so you're going to want to check your ACLs, make sure the permissions line up. Next we'll move on to Studio, and now within Studio you're going to have the ability to add an experience for your application. So here we'll navigate into Studio, I'm going to pull up an application that I created, called Prices, and then within Prices or any application for that matter. You can simply type in UX after selecting Create Application File, and then you'll have the two items pop up there. One is for the new UX application, and then the other one will be for the UX application configuration. You can navigate to Now Experience, and that's where we'll find two records which have already been created. So I brought up two example records and then when you click open in UI Builder, it will take you into UI Builder. One last thing I wanted to show you was the Codeless Solutions playlist on Aspen Now. Just go out to YouTube and type in ServiceNow Codeless to find it. The playlist contains over 20 videos with Codeless Solutions.